Hi, CTK family. This is Ron Baker, and I'd just like to share uh, some things with you. I know I haven't been on here for quite a while, but something happened to me in my own uh, dealing with the Lord, and uh, I think I it was a time of instruction for me. So I just want to share it with you a little bit. You know, the Bible tells us that the our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, and so... Last night when I went to bed, when I was saying my prayers, I said, uh, Lord, I'd just like for the Holy Spirit uh, that I could just have some time uh, together and we could just share as I dream tonight. Well, I didn't think too much about what I said because the Holy Spirit never sleeps. It's always on watch for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, always. Well, what happened was I couldn't go to sleep. I could not go to sleep. And I started praying. I prayed for everyone that I could think of. I prayed for everyone that I could think of in our church. I prayed for the deacons. I prayed for the singers. I prayed for the teachers. I prayed for the trustees. I prayed for pastor. I even prayed for the janitors. I prayed for uh, the de deputy that's always on guard outside our church. I just prayed and prayed and prayed. I had a good time with the Lord. I really did. And then the Holy Spirit began to deal with me about some things. And it wasn't such a good time anymore. He asked me a question. He said, and he said, how much screen time do you have on your phone? You know, now your phone can show you exactly how much time you spend on it, going through whatever you do, uh, reading. I read Fox News a lot, watch Fox News on my phone sometimes. Uh, uh, whatever I'm doing, and, and I accumulate a lot of time. Well, he said, how about your scriptures? How about your devotions? How about your prayer time? Is that in line with the screen time that you have on your phone? And honestly, it shook me up. So I began to think about it. And uh, the because I, I thought, well, you know what? Uh, the Bible says for us in the book of James, I think it's the fourth chapter, it says for us to draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. But you know, the and that's where we want to stop so much of the time. Get a closer walk with the Lord. But then... Um, the next words are, uh, tells us to cleanse your hand, cleanse your hands, you sinners, purify your hearts, you double minded. And that's a lot harder to do. So I was thinking about something and I just happened to go through one of my drawers and I found this, a phone. You notice there's nothing on it. It's black. It doesn't work. There's no a screen time saving on it because it's broken. And I think that we ought to spend a little bit more time uh, in our Bible study, in our devotions, in our prayer. Because last night, I went to bed at 11 o'clock and normally I go to sleep. As soon as I say my prayers, I'm off. My wife says it's amazing that I can do that. And last night, I never slept at all. At five o'clock this morning when Sean got up to go to work, I was still wide awake. And I think the Lord was teaching me a lesson. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, he does look at us very closely. He looks at our spiritual life very closely. And I really, really want revival. I want revival in my own heart. I want revival in our church. I want revival in our community. I want to see God working in people's lives like I've never seen before. And I believe he can do it. I believe he wants to do it. And it's up to us. Cut down on the screen time. Love you guys. Bye.